good evening everyone so in this uh, lecture i'm going to discuss about how to prepare signal sensing systems for gate exam now first we'll see what is the syllabus we need to cover so in this uh, for the first topic should be basics of signals so in this basics we need to learn what are the types of signals and in the types of signals so what is a periodic signals energy signals power signals are different types of signals like unit step unit unit step signal and uh, impulse signal and uh, ramp signal etc so this type of signals we need to learn and we need to uh, see or learn the different types of operations operations on signals like shifting scaling inverting or reversal so these operations we need to learn right so this is about the basics of signals next we need to learn about basics of systems so in the systems what type of systems so uh, the system is a linear system or causal system or memoryless or with memory or invertibility of any system so this some properties of systems we need to learn so base uh, some frequently we will get some uh, so some uh, system is given is it linear or uh, non linear or uh, uh, in, uh, what do you call time invariant or non invariant time variant so time invariant or time variant so these properties we need to learn now on the how to find energy of a given signal or how to find a uh, power of a given signal so it may be discrete or continuous signal so types of signals as continuous discrete and digital but uh, what we'll see only this continuous and discrete in signals and systems next topic is lta system so that is linear time invariant systems that is so in this again we'll have some uh, these properties again same properties so, so linear similarly causality stability and impulse response similarly this topic is very important convolution between two signals that is x of t convolve with h of t which is equal to y of t the response right that is that is why it is impulse response or something now what is the convolution procedure suppose some two signals are given how to find the convolution between two signals so it may be in, uh, the exponential signal convolution with some the step signal etc so we need to find or we need to learn how to do the convolution process now to prepare this i will prefer only one day is sufficient right so very simple uh, topics we can learn easily from the uh, the standard test works next one is so when we take continuous time signals we need to do some analysis that is the so types of different different uh, transforms will be there that is one is fourier series next one is for continuous fourier transform then there is a laplace transform now frequently we will get the questions from fourier transform as well as laplace transform uh, you know if we see the previous gate question for some fourier series so rarely we are getting now that we will see later but so what we have to learn in continuous time signals is fourier series continuous time fourier series continuous time fourier transform laplace transform see, so for this i will uh, consider for one day so so finding the what is the uh, expressions for given fourier uh, series so how to find the x of t is equal to some formula will be there some is k equal to minus infinity to infinity a k into a power j k omega not t etc for a continuous similarly what is the equation to find the fourier transform of x of f and so what is the equation minus infinity to infinity x of t into e for minus j omega t dt similarly laplace transform then we will uh, take some signals and how to find the given laplace transform for the given signals how to find the laplace transform or fourier transform particularly in this laplace transform you will get we have to find the roc region of convergence so that so i will consider for one day so we have to do uh, theory as well as some practical pro practical uh, so we need to do some practice now similarly for discrete time signals there is discrete time fourier series dtft discrete time fourier transform and z transform as well as there is a, some uh, dft as well as fft will be there right 
now so this is also for one day we will uh, because already we know the uh, for your transform so there will be almost so we will get only here sigma instead of integration we will get the summation uh, terms so it is we can easily learn and we have to remember all these Fourier series or for transforms will have some properties so we have to learn those properties so uh, we have to make one table of all the properties from the properties we get at least one to two marks paka because we have to apply that property and find the the different uh, values next to two is sampling theorem about concept what is the sampling theorem what is the Nyquist trait you now for a given signal find the time period etc similarly digital filter design techniques so there will be two filters that is IIR filter as well as FIR filter so so we need to see what is this uh, type of filter how the transfer functions are how the how to find given filter uh, transfer function is which type of filter either IIR or FIR so for this I need only half day now if you see to prepare the signals and systems it is three and a half days sufficient so we can extend to four days so don't prepare more than four days or maximum we can go up to seven days so reason I will tell you is this previously up to 2013 uh, 2013 or 2012 signal system is a different uh, subject and which was coming from 8 to 10 marks but now it is included with the network theory and signal sense system so combinedly we are getting some 12 to 15 marks so sometimes we will get signal sense systems more marks so in, in network theory less marks in different sets and one set we will get less marks in signal sense systems more marks in network theory so that's why so we have to uh, very focus on what uh, what topics we are getting more frequently the questions right now we will see the marks wise performance in gate previous gates so in signals and systems only in gate 2015 set 1 we got 8 marks set 2 13 marks set 3 16 marks similarly but we see the gate 2016 one set 12 marks one set only 5 marks set 3 is again 11 marks right so this 12 marks why the variation is uh, sometimes the communication uh, problems will also be included in this this mark so but average we will get 6 to 8 marks only right now but in gate 2016 what are the different from the see from the basic six, six signals we didn't get any questions but from the LTA systems that is uh, how to find the convolution or give uh, or uh, how to find the stability given system is stable or not so we got set one five marks set two there is no question from the LTA system set three only one mark we got similarly four year series there is no marks in gate 2016 but if I see four year transform continuous time as well as discrete time Fourier transform set one we got two marks from DTFT set two we got two marks from DTFT plus one marks from continuous Fourier transform so total three marks now if I see Laplace transform set one we got two marks set three we got two marks so this one is set two is no question from the Laplace transform similarly Z transform set one we got one mark set three we got three marks similarly DFT so I mean frequently we get at least one question from the DFT there is no doubt right so concentrate on DFT so we will get very quickly we can learn DFT similarly filters we got two marks from set 3 one set we got two marks so this is about the uh, the marks wise performance so which book we need to follow the only one standard book is signals and systems by Oppenham so this is the standard book so the concepts will be very clear so standardized uh, uh, concepts so we so many number of numericals will be there so sometimes we we can go to the local authors uh, it may be Ramesh signals and systems by some uh, local authors will be there but I prefer only the open ham so you can get more concepts from this uh, open ham book right so so now next we will see some uh, we, uh, next video I will try to make uh, solve some problems in gate previous gate problems and some different concept I will give right.